Hello, gamer freaks and geeks. Yada yada yada. Today we are going to fight the massive moss charger on Steel Soul. This is technically an optional mini boss, but any extra challenge in Steel Soul is generally not something you want to do. I, on the other hand, am a masochist, so therefore I would love to do this. So now we must go all the way around. So from the first bench, which is right up there in Green Path, we had left. through this doorway we walk through we're in this room we're going to head all the way left fight whatever don't get cocky the squits are actually annoying Now that we're here, we're going to finish the left path. More accurately, we're heading down. Kill everything on your way for that sweet, sweet journal entry. And you're going to see this room. You want to head right from there and down. Now you're in a room full of squits. Kill the squits. Because God, I hate them. I hate Nightmare. And ta-da! There is a geo patch down here if you would like it. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Kill the enemies on the right. Yeah. Head down. Get hit by things. I never said I'm good at the game. I just <laughs> I just said I could beat the bosses. Yep. Head down. And now for the fun part. Just keep going right. Things are obviously going to be here. This is one of the most important locations in the- No! In the game. Pummel everything you see because no, 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 no. Pummel. Pummel. Kill. If you want Geo, generally don't knock things into pits, but... Kill the oblob boys, the oblob obbles, I guess they're technically called, since the oblobbles are the boss fights of these boys. And uh, just destroy them. They are not powerful. They will die in like two or three hits. Oh, actually, two is the only is the weakest you can be. And now that you're here, you've come from the bench down. You're gonna head left. You see these boys? Smack their balls back at them. All right, and now you're gonna head down. You're going to see one up here above you. 
just keep smacking their balls back at them. This is technically, I believe, the only place these guys can spawn. Smack his balls. Head down, dash over. This does require you to have killed Hornet first. Alright. You see this room? This is the home of the massively monstrous clown. Smack him. And now, smack him real good. He has two attacks. Uh, over the head. And dash straight at you with no remorse for his unsafe being. And since this boss, just to make it even more of a joke, you can heal right there. Head back down. Smack him real good. He's probably about 50% dead now. And that was how to kill the massive moss charger. I, I don't know how to describe how to... I don't know a good tip other than don't get hit. And if you want him to be even more of a joke, you could just skip the entire boss all together and just nope out and smack the balls. This man's balls are a bit trickier to hit. But you can hit his balls back too. Ready? Bonk. Nope. <laughs> and <laughs> this enemy is arguably harder than the boss fight. Because you have to set it up and then... Yeah, this is uh, that. I'm just padding out the runtime. I mean... If you want something a bit harder, you can kill these boys. If you want a challenge. He's a, he's a clown. You'll beat him in no time, trust me. I don't ha have any nail upgrades. Do you want to know? Look. Nail. Just old nail. And look at... This is not an ideal boss charm loadout. It's just... Fury of the Fallen and Wayward Compass. You could do this with goddamn Baldur's Shell. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>